Hey YouTube, it's ICU and welcome to the 212th episode of Best Tech Info and Rumors. Alright, and to start off, this week's been extremely cram-packed with exciting news. So I'm going to try to make this episode more condensed than usual, and the primary reason for that is because of the all-new jailbreak. I still have a lot of work to do surrounding that, and yeah, you heard me correct. The iOS 8 through 8.1 untethered jailbreak has finally been released, but before we get into that, I wanted to talk about 8.1, so let's back up a little bit. Earlier this week, Apple released iOS 8.1, the first substantial 8.x update since the company issued the original iOS 8.0 firmware last month, and there are actually a number of welcome features in the firmware. Beyond the fact that it rectifies a number of bugs and Bluetooth issues, it adds instant hotspot, which, if your data plan allows for tethering, will intelligently allow your Mac and your iPhone to communicate with one another and enable the hotspot when you actually need it iCloud Photo Library beta has been extended to the public with 8.1, which allows users to store their photo library in its entirety in iCloud, provided there's enough storage space. SMS forwarding to send not only SMS, but also MMS messages from OSX and iPads with either Yosemite or 8.1, and most importantly, Apple Pay, which is not only extremely simple, but also extremely secure. I've tested it myself, and I actually was planning on doing a video earlier this week before the jailbreak was released, which kind of delayed everything. I'm still not sure whether I'm going to push that video out for you guys or not, but essentially, let me just show you a quick clip of me paying for something at an Apple store with Apple Pay on my iPhone 6 Plus. And I apologize for the video quality. I was using my iPhone 5S and in retrospect, that's not really a great device to record with because it doesn't have focus pixel technology like the 6 and 6 Plus. But anyway, all you have to do is actually hold it up to an NFC POS or point of sale terminal. In this case, they have mobile ones at the Apple store that actually attach as cases. And then once you bring it near the terminal, the Apple Pay interface will instantly instantly pop up. You select your card if you don't want the default option, and you hold a finger that's enrolled through Touch ID onto the home button, and it will instantly process the payment. It's so simple and secure, it's really incredible, and I'm not going to get into the security aspect of it in this video. If you guys want more information on that, definitely check out Apple's website, because it's undoubtedly one of the most secure ways to pay for things with either a credit or a debit card. Also, I know some people have questions regarding whether you have to press the home button or interact with it for the interface to pop up for Apple Pay. No you don't. You simply have to hold it near the terminal when the sale's ready. All right, now with everything surrounding iOS 8.1 kind of out of the way, let's actually get into the jailbreak and some information surrounding that. So yes, Pangu did release their all new untethered jailbreak utility, dubbed Pangu, for iOS 8. And it's capable of jailbreaking not only iOS 8.0, but also 8.0.1. And by the way, if you're on that dreaded firmware, I highly recommend updating because it is plagued with bugs. So don't stay on 8.0.1 if you're currently there, update to 8.1. Also 8.0.2, and again, 8.1, the current latest public firmware. And for those of you who have yet to watch my video coverage on this subject, I actually created an in-depth, untethered jailbreak tutorial that will walk you through all of the steps required to fully jailbreak. And as far as supported devices are concerned, the iPhone 6, iPhone 6 Plus, iPhone 5S, iPhone 5C, iPhone 4S, the iPad Air 2, iPad Mini 3, the original iPad Air, the iPad Mini with Retina Display, or the second generation iPad Mini, the original iPad Mini, the fourth generation generation iPad, the third generation iPad, the iPad 2, and the fifth generation iPod Touch will be able to use Pangu successfully, again, to jailbreak 8.0 through 8.1. And like I said previously, if you have yet to jailbreak, definitely do so now. Do not wait. Actually, there was some confusion from a few of my viewers regarding whether they should update or whether they should jailbreak. If you're interested in iOS 8 and the jailbreak that goes along with it, take full advantage of this current opportunity. Pangu said that the reason why they rushed Pangu for a release is actually to preserve the exploits that Pangu utilizes to again achieve an untethered jailbreak because we have absolutely no clue when Apple's going to release an updated 8.1.x firmware to eventually patch the vulnerabilities again exploited by Pangu. So if you're interested in jailbreaking on iOS 8, do so now before it is too late. Because considering the fact that Apple is not only actively testing 8.2, but also 8.3, there's a strong possibility that this jailbreak will be patched sooner than the corresponding iOS 7 Pangu utility for 7.1.x that went unpatched until Apple actually released iOS 8. And for those of you who are curious as to why I said Pangu rushed the release, 
That's because they did. If you've already watched my jailbreak tutorial, you will know that Cydia is actually not bundled with the Pangu Untethered Jailbreak Utility, at least right now. And again, the reason for that is because they wanted to release as soon as possible to ensure that as many people as possible would be able to jailbreak. And if both Cydia and Cydia Substrate had been updated at the time, then it would have been bundled with the jailbreak from launch. However, it's of no fault Pangu because essentially a jailbreak just enables root access, which Pangu did flawlessly, by the way, in an untethered variant. And it's also of no fault by Sarek, the creator of Cydia. Personally though, I wish that both the Pangu team and Sarek had better coordinated on this latest release. However, we can't complain because we do have an untethered iOS 8 jailbreak, like I've said previously, sooner than years past. So it's an extremely exciting time for jailbreakers. However, just note that not a lot of Cydia tweaks are updated to support iOS 8 through 8.1. However, if you're currently lost and you don't know what to get after jailbreaking, I highly recommend watching my top Cydia tweaks video that I released yesterday. It does go over five current tweaks that are not only compatible with, but also function on iOS 8 through 8.1, jailbroken by way of Pangu. So again, just be sure to check that video out to get started and install some great tweaks in the early stages of iOS 8 jailbreaking. And now for those of you who have any issues with the jailbreak process, whether it's actually jailbreaking with Pangu or whether it's after the fact installing Cydia on a device that was jailbroken with Pangu, I'm going to kind of go through a few steps that should rectify any complications you may encounter right now. So to start, let's tackle the issue of those encountering problems when jailbreaking with Pangu. First of all, you cannot jailbreak a device that was updated via Apple's over-the-air OTA software update option. And what I mean by that, if you're unfamiliar, is updating through the settings app. If you happen to update through settings, you're going to have to follow this procedure. Plug your device into your computer via a standard USB cable, create a backup inside of iTunes, restore to 8.1, jailbreak on iOS 8.1 with Pangu following my tutorial, install Cydia following my other tutorial, and then you're going to have to restore from your backup to retrieve all of your data. That will be the absolute best process to ensure that you don't encounter any issues. However, if you did simply update through iTunes, and if you still have problems jailbreaking, disable your device's passcode and touch ID if you have the feature. You don't have to delete fingerprint data though. Find my iPhone and enter airplane mode. And then once you followed all of those steps, you will be able to jailbreak through Pangu, provided that you updated through iTunes. You can actually jailbreak if you updated through the OTA updatability. However, you may very well encounter problems and sort of just general complications in the future. And that's been the same for every jailbreak since Apple introduced the OTA updatability. And now if you can't install Cydia for whatever reason following my guide, first of all, ensure that your device is jailbroken and you have open SSH installed. There are so many people who try to SSH into their jailbroken device without installing open SSH via the Pangu app that you receive once you jailbreak. So ensure that OpenSSH is installed. And then if you follow the instructions correctly and you just don't have Cydia after rebooting, the corresponding post on Best Tech Info has been updated with new commands for Windows users. So just be sure to check there and try running through those commands. However, if all else fails, you must follow the procedure that I detailed previously, which is essentially plugging your device into your computer via a USB cable, creating a backup inside of iTunes, restoring to 8.1, jailbreaking using my guide, installing Cydia using my other tutorial video, and then from there restoring from your backup to retrieve all of your data. That will ensure again that you don't encounter any issues whether it's with Pangu itself or actually with installing Cydia. And as far as Pangu for Mac is concerned, the Pangu team said that it's a ways off. So if you're on OS 10, then try to get your hands on a Windows computer, and if you're not able to, then you can easily create a new partition on your computer and install Windows on said partition and simply boot into it that way or set it up in a virtual environment. You can find any number of tutorials online for that. And now let's briefly talk about the possibility of evasion for iOS 8.1. Essentially, it won't happen. Just like iOS 7.1.x, the evaders see no reason to release a new utility that essentially accomplishes exactly the same feat as Pangu for iOS 8. Pangu's already done it. They've already achieved root access in an untethered form with a utility that supports every single iPhone, iPad, and iPod touch model that's currently out. It would be redundant for the evaders to release Evasion 8. 
So if you're holding out on jailbreaking iOS 8 until the Evaders release an updated version of Evasion to support the firmware, don't. Because the Evaders will not release a new utility until after Pangu is patched, if at all, for iOS 8. So keep that in mind, jailbreak now if you're interested in it, like I said previously. And moving on, let's talk about the all new iPads. Also, earlier this week, Apple released not only the iPad Air 2, but also the iPad Mini 3, which personally I don't really see as such a big update as the iPad Air 2, which is actually really incredible. It's 18% thinner than even the iPad Air. It measures in at now just 6.1 millimeters in depth, which is absolutely incredible. It doesn't have an air gap between the display and the display cover, which makes the assets on the display look more, quote, touchable, which is actually a strange concept, but it's definitely true. True. It's also so much lighter and more enjoyable. It has two gigabytes of RAM and an all new A8X processor with what's thought to be a new tri-core design. It's really an incredible iPad and a great upgrade. Whereas the iPad mini 3 simply features the inclusion of Touch ID. It still has this exact same processor as its predecessor. However, there is a new gold option available. So for whatever reason you wanted a gold iPad mini, then you might want to look into getting the iPad mini 3. But I definitely recommend the iPad Air 2 for anyone in the market for a new iPad as it's definitely the best option out as of now. Also last week, if you happen to miss my unboxing of the Retina iPad, Mac, just be sure to check it out. It's a great Mac and an even more incredible display. The 5K resolution is absolutely stunning. Stunning. If you have yet to see one in person, I also recommend going down to your local Apple store and checking it out. But if you want to see it unboxed and see everything that the all new Retina 5K iMac comes with, then just be sure to check out again my unboxing and review video. I also go over the aspects of the computer and the type of individual this new iMac would best suit. And kind of wrapping things up here and summarizing before we conclude, there's going to be so much more with jailbreaking in the days to come. I will keep you guys completely updated on every new development pertaining to the untethered iOS 8 jailbreak. Again, we're still in very early stages. So many tweaks have yet to be updated and there's such a great future ahead of us for jailbreaking. So just be sure to stay tuned. If you aren't already subscribed and you're on the main page for this video, just be sure to click the subscribe button down below next to my channel name. And also if you guys are interested in my upcoming giveaway, which will either be a new iPad Air 2 or possibly even an iPhone 6 Plus, then just be sure to rate this video up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section once your comment's been posted. Just be sure to visit bit.ly forward slash get free app life or just freeapplife.com inside of mobile Safari. And after hitting download, press the home button, open the app, and if you're on iOS 8, download and install the temporary secure profile, which is strictly used for associating your device with its proper account in a more secure manner on the latest firmware. It's never even installed on your devices. It's immediately deleted once your account has either been created or re associated. From there, simply download sponsored apps for points, refer friends for even more, and redeem said points for various prizes, including paid apps, gift cards, and bigger electronic devices. And also speaking of giveaways, the winner of the iPhone 6 giveaway was actually recently announced on Free App Life's Facebook at facebook.com slash free app life. So if you missed it, just be sure to check it out there. And if you guys don't know what to leave in the comment section, try answering the question of the day. Let me know if you're excited about the new iOS 8 jailbreak and why. And if you guys want to be updated more often, such as when I create new videos covering things like jailbreaking and Apple products, even forthcoming ones such as the Apple Watch, just be sure to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, add me to one of your circles inside of Google+, Plus. follow me on Instagram at ICUID, and subscribe to my secondary YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash ICUID. And until next time, this is ICU, signing out.